<sighs> what is up, posse? My name is Will Bronlick, and welcome to another episode of Shitima. So, this one was terrible. Like, flat out terrible with next to nothing good about it. I'm going to be talking about uh, the not Brave ripoff, but more Disney's Hercules ripoff, Kiara the Brave. And reviewing uh, this movie with me is a, a guy I just showed this movie uh, with. I've seen this movie before, but he hasn't. And I really wanted to see his reaction to it. It's none other than Jessup. Kill me! Kill me! Alright, so, where can we start with this movie? Well, let's see, not really just a rip of Hercules, it's he rips off Avatar Last Airbender, Dragon Ball Z, um... I guess a little bit of Shazam, wouldn't you say? Shazam! It was, it's got food fight quality animation. Oh yeah, the editing was horrible. Yeah. But um, after we watched the um movie, I went out of my way to watch the um Let's Play for one of the House of the Dead games. Do you remember those games? And yeah, those games have bad voice acting and animation too. But it was better than Kiara the Brave or whatever it's called. Yeah, exactly. I at least can tell who's a zombie and who's a person. Yeah, the voice acting in this was pretty bad, especially from the main character, who is not Kiara, uh, by any chance. It's a kid named Super Cloud. Uh, you see those cosmos thingies, whatever? The plant planets? Yeah. Yeah, the planets have faces, and they look uh, like crap. And there's this kid, Arbit, who's apparently uh, the, the son of Destiny. Okay. Now that we've got time to comprehend it, I don't think it's as bad as Garbage Little Kids or Food Fight, but it's really close. No, this is easily one of the worst animated movies ever. It's up there. If I had to make a list of worst movie animated movies I've ever seen, uh, Kiara the Brave would definitely be up there. Yeah, um, I, I would put it number one because of Food Fight. Yeah. But uh, let's talk about uh, one thing about this uh, movie that makes it stand out. And that's the title character, Kiara. Guess uh, how much uh, she contributes to this entire movie? The answer? Absolutely nothing! Absolutely nothing! Like, holy cow, talk about Those false actors! Those idiots did more than her! Yeah, exactly! Super Cloud did more than her! This uh, guy, the... The Mesmerizer, he did more than her. My dog did more in this movie than Kiara did. Kiara the Brave, more like Kiara the Useless. But I holy cow. Guy, that wizard guy, that was his name. Mesmerizer. The mesmerizer. How did he have all that futuristic shit? I honestly have no clue. A better twist would have been if he was a time traveler the whole time. That would have been a good twist. That would have been a good twist, except to, except we kind of have two twists in this uh, new movie. Uh, one is that uh, this uh, Doctor Ozonic guy, or whatever that his name, the I don't bad guy. is actually they the bad guy. Thing. Yes, uh, they did a Darth Vader thing, where Dread Mist, uh, who who accidentally created Super uh, Cloud, is actually his father, which we kind of figured out from the very beginning. I have no idea of clue, but they're acting it like it's a, a big one. But it's not a good one. It's horrible. This was so bad. Ugh. And let's talk about uh, the quote comic relief accidentally and suddenly, who are basically just uh, copies of uh, Hercules's uh, pain, pain and uh, I forgot the other one's name. Uh, oh, and here's the worst part. I checked IMDb too. Yeah. They have top. Those voice actors have top billing. No, oh, really? Oh, yeah, I think I uh, saw it. Boy, is that tree? Yara's very 
explode. Yes. That's because she's hardly used in this movie. Yeah. How long would you say she was on screen for? I want to say 15 minutes total. Maybe 10. And this is an, and this movie's not really that long. It felt like forever. Yeah, I know. I felt like a whole day went by at least. Yeah, I know. Like, this hour, this movie is, what, an hour and 20 minutes? And it felt like we were watching it for, like, three hours. I know, I felt like a whole day went by. It felt longer than the Lord of the Rings movie to me. I mean, I will give this movie some credit, but it's only one thing. There's, like, one uh, kind of funny moment uh, in this movie. Oh, yeah. Nah. It's uh, where accidentally and suddenly use their, like, names uh, in, like, uh, different situations. Like, did you accidentally hit your head? I'm like, oh, okay, maybe that's kind of funny. I didn't realize that was their names. Yeah, those are their actual names. I was having some audio issues, so I couldn't really hear. So bad. But yeah, this is, e this is easily one of the worst animated movies ever made. Yeah. Not as bad as Food Fights. Right. But if you, like... But if you want something that's, like, so batshit insane... I kind of recommend this movie. I would actually not recommend it at all. Well, only if you're looking for something that's, like, totally crazy, it makes no sense whatsoever. Not even like that. I, I, I'd go with The Room before I would recommend that movie. Yeah, probably. So, is there anything else you wanted to add? Yep, I think that just about does it. So that just about does it for this episode of Shinema. If you did enjoy this video, then be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more content. Next uh, reviews will be of the Netflix series Tiger King and of Disney Pixar's Onward. So, until next time, see you later, posse.